Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You could call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. Yes, hi, Shops. Good to see you as well. Talking an ad, sorry, no worries, no worries. But yeah, just got here myself. Or, well, I guess I've been here, but you know, just started. But yes, anyway. So yes, tonight, Arc Knights. Yes, we are continuing Operation Originium Dust. But yes, last time we got up to the level of it that I got back when I was playing before I started streaming. So yes, so we've made, or yeah, at this point we are going to be completely within uncharted territory. But yes, as a brief overview of the event so far, but yes, we have been following the adventures of Team Rainbow, a group of Rainbow Six operators who have been transported to the world of Arknights, the, play, the world known as Terra. And basically, they've uh, been having a little bit of a rough time, but not, not too bad. But yes, they happen to be in a region known as Sargon, a very barren, deserted, or desert... What's the word I'm looking for? I was thinking of something like akin to forested, but I guess with deserts. Team Isekai, Team Rainbow got isekai yep. <laughs> Is this canon? It's kind of canon. They don't interact with like the rest of the events, but like, you know, it's, I don't know. They don't interact with like other characters and other storylines, but they there is another Rainbow Six event. Yeah, I'm assuming for licensing reasons, they can't necessarily specifically say that it's canon. But, <laughs> this, uh, it's not treated like a joke. But yeah, anyway, like in the Rainbow Six Siege universe, um, not that I'm aware of. But I haven't played a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, so maybe. I still, I'm still a little bit disappointed that they didn't put any Arknights stuff in Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, despite two Rainbow Six events in Arknights, there's not been a single Arknights thing in Rainbow Six. But yes. Anyway, so, where was I? Oh yes. So, Team Rainbow is in uh, Arknights. Yeah, specifically Ash, Tachanka, Blitz, and Frost. But yes, they fa have found themselves in Sargon and sort of come to something of an understanding with a group of locals. But yes, it just so happens that there is some unrest going on in this area. Unusual mutated creatures have been uh, discovered and have been causing some havoc because another of the individuals from the from Earth. Yes, a doctor by the name of Levi Klitschko, uh, who is responsible for them all being transported here, uh, has also been hard at work uh, creating horrible mutants with the power of radiation and originium at the behest of a of a the son of a local lord who wants to usurp his father's throne, essentially. Yeah, in the middle of all this, a Rhodes Island operation, like a Rhodes Island expedition team group, uh, was also happened to be in the area when they received a distress call, uh, alerting them to the to the whole uh, circumstances. And so now, Team Rainbow has met up with Rhodes Island, and now we're working to try and figure out sort of what's going on and how we can fix it to some extent. Or at the very least, how we can survive it. So yes. So, that should cover the basics of the event. Now, let's go over the business. So yes. So, today is Arc Nights, as you may have guessed. So yes, once again, we will be continuing Arc Nights for so long as it is necessary to clear this event. So yeah, the event will be available until Saturday. So if I have to play it until Saturday, so be it. But yes, as of right now, I understand that we are currently not planning on doing a collab this Friday, Sheps. You can correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Um, so yeah, so currently we are expecting to stream or stream Arknights through Saturday, 
again as necessary. Um, but yes, three mark nights through Saturday as necessary. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday will also be featuring arc nights if we haven't beaten the event by that point. But yes, so. I'm afraid I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you for following. Hmm, okay, that seems like a bot. Yeah, I'm, that feels like a bot. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Uh, if you happen to not be a bot, maybe say it, but uh, I'll give you like a few more seconds, but it seems like you are perhaps a bot, so goodbye. I'm getting a lot of those recently. Anyway, well, maybe not a lot of them, but we've gotten, we've gotten them like at all which is unusual. But yeah, anyway. So, where was I? Right, Arknights. So yes, so we are streaming it tonight. We'll be streaming it tomorrow. And yeah, the Wednesday and Saturday streams, we can also expect to be around somewhere between 8.30 and 9 p.m. or starting between 8.30 and 9 p.m. Central Time. The Thursday and Friday streams would have banned them as well, yeah. And yeah, the Thursday and Friday streams, we can expect to start somewhere between 9 and 9.30 p.m. Central Time. But yes. So, currently the goal is to try and do two stages per day. We'll see how that goes. We, got, we did do three yesterday. So that was pretty good. But yeah, we're currently at about to start stage five out of the eight that are in this event. So we should, in theory, be able to, we should be able to beat the, the event well within our projected time limit. Yeah, assuming the rate of two stages per week, which is, or not, not, not two stages per week, two stages per day, rather. Yeah, assuming the rate of two stages per day, which seems a little bit unlikely because we do tend to struggle a little bit on the stages later into the event on account of the fact that they are uh, designed for units that are a higher level than the units that I have. And as I learned earlier, it does take a little bit longer for me to set my base up to be able to promote uh, my units. So I could probably get that done within the next day or two if I wanted to be able to raise my units to higher levels at this point, or even higher levels, I should say. Because yeah, they are currently at their Elite 1 level cap. I think I might now have the ability to produce materials necessary to promote them to Elite 2, but I haven't looked into it that much. We haven't needed to thus far. We've beaten like three events without needing to promote any of our units to Elite 2, which I think is pretty good, despite being Elite 2 being recommended for the last, last level of each event. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, so. We should probably play this video game at some point. Video games. All right. So, like I was saying, we're about to start mission five. Nothing really to say, I don't think, before we get started. Another interesting map. We've got a stairwell there. It has a... I'm noticing the little arrow pointing off of it is blue, which... Usually they're red, I think. I don't know what that necessarily indicates, or if that indicates anything in particular. I suppose we'll see when we get into the mission. Alright. Well, before we get started, I suppose there's no real revision I can do, so we will go with the usual team. You can do it, Lord. Uh... <laughs> ha! Almost. Just a little more. And... Ha! It's up. Well done. Yeah, that was a weird... That was a weird voice I was doing for Ash. Kind of... My Tachanka and my Ash voices kind of got a little bit blended up there. Yes, it's very impressive you can pull this crossbow back with your bare hands. <sighs> What the design? 
couldn't tell by looking at it that this crossbow has such tensile strength. It's a pretty ordinary crossbow. Most sarcasts can lock it barehanded. A heavy crossbow with this kind of power. At least than 100 meters. It won't be different than the from won't be that different from a gun. It's just too much work. And I already learned the hard way a bit that bit about our physical differences. That zappy girl over there might be no weaker than me. Are you talking about Liskarn? He's a Vauver. They're a strong race for sure. Right. Why the sudden interest in these weapons? We are expecting a lot of fights soon, so it's time to think about what to do when we run out of ammo. So yeah, one notable thing to, to mention is that while the Arknight setting does have guns, they don't have gunpowder. So yeah, so the weapons that the Rainbow Six operators use, like the ammunition for them is basically, basically impossible for them to replicate. It is not a... Uh, it is not a technology that the the folks of Terra have developed, because their firearms are based off of Originium. But yes, I had meant to mention that uh, last time because that was also it's been a plot point sort of throughout this event. Anyway, without the bullets, my gun might as well be a paperweight. I don't think we can take them hand to hand when it comes to that. Now, training and experience won't be enough either. How much do we have left? Not much over here. Not even 400 rounds. Let me show you something. Is this a uh, bullet? It's a bullet that Rhodes Islander named Liskarm uses. They call it an etched bullet, and it's apparently an extremely expensive commodity. Did you take it apart yet? What's it made of? What's the propellant? This chunk of crystal. Looks like an energy source. Is that the propellant for a warhead? Laterano gunsmith once told me that every single etched bullet contains a miniature casting unit that matches up with the structure of a Laterano gun. That means it's not only the gun, but every etched bullet is basically a caster's staff. That's why they're so expensive and why they need such complicated arts that only Sancta can make much use of them. Other peoples go with, an, with easier ranged weapons. So, Latorano is the name of the country, Sancta is the name of the race. Latorano people are not necessarily Sancta. Got it. But that's real bad news about the bullets. Do we have any gun here that doesn't require those Originium arts to work? I've never heard about those firearms that don't need Originium arts. <sighs> One step at a time, at least everybody can use explosives. Where did Cots go with them? They're in the basement, still trying to fix the thing that looks like a radio transmitter. We can't power the comm casting unit. The power problem? Maybe, I'll have to see. Okay, you all, you all take a step back. The valedictorian is about to do her stuff. Charging. Oh, oh, oh. Fun little scene. Was that arts? It was pretty cool. It definitely leaves an impression. Is it working? It's on. Great work. That's my walking power supply. Don't you have anything better to do than annoy me? Hmm. No good. It's still not connecting. The crystal electronics unit may be too damaged, or there may be some damage elsewhere in the circuit we can't see with the naked eye. We don't have any equipment for repairing our originium circuits here, so we can't troubleshoot. <sighs> Sounds pretty hopeless. And ordinary people do these originium arts too? Theoretically, almost anyone can learn to do arts at some level with enough training. It's just that studying arts takes time and effort, and that gets tied up pretty close with talent. Lots of people master only the most basic arts, even after pushing themselves a lot harder than others. I'm a dumb old man, and I've never learned any Originium arts. 
What are you thinking? Nothing. Just brainstorming about our situation here. Some wild, impractical ideas. Oh, right. Mr. Kotz? Take a look at the shield here. What's... What's that on the shield? I installed a high-powered spotlight on the Universal Originium circuit based on the original design and function of your shield. It should just work. It should work just like the one you're used to. Thanks a bundle. Oh, but I can't use Originium arts. Strictly speaking, a Universal Originium circuit is a piece of modern technology that lets people who don't know how to use arts use it anyway. It is loaded with a few simple Originium arts. Of course, the power supply and equipment maintenance still need to be carried out by a trained caster. Alright, Blitz has been shielded back up. Alright, let's see. It's still pretty heavy. Turn it on, hit the switch. All good, I'll give it a try. Wow, it really works! But it'll take some getting used to. I haven't done a shield charge in six months. I've almost forgotten how to use the thing. How are things looking outside? The last attack was also the last enemy movement. We haven't seen any probing strikes since. I don't think that's a good sign. Especially considering what a well-organized bunch of punks they are. I've got a bad feeling about this. Calm before the storm. Sure enough. Where's the doctor? Resting. He hasn't slept in days. Give the kid a break. He shouldn't have to deal with all this at his age. And we've got another problem on our hands. We're running out of food. Right. Mr. Ackman told us. What are you thinking? I'm thinking whether or not we should take a trip back to the infected quarter. I get you. Oh, you have a plan? We left in a hurry. A lot of the sick people didn't have time to bring their food in from home. True, we have enough hands here. We could send some people out to get supplies. Then, let's save our talk here. We should be able to get there air before the night falls. Alright, supply recovery plan. Do be careful, everyone. See so, yes. so... It looks like this... Right, we're gonna implement the lessons that I learned. And we're not going to get help. too ahead of ourselves. We might still get ahead of ourselves, but we'll try not to as much. Alright, so we've got explosives, but we don't have... Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? I hope so too. But yeah, my thought is Snow Sand is. Okay, we definitely don't want Myrtle to be blocking right now. How do we want to do this? Um. Leave it to me. Ooh, almost this might not be the most opportune me. time to be using. Okay, we don't want that. Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe I should have Snow Sant on her normal skill. Anyway. Our charging. But yes, we don't have any way to shore up those... Uh, yeah, shore up the... Dirt Mounds. And we need to start helping Snow Sant. So... Oh boy. That's I'll do my best. How do we want to swing this? Um... Okay, we can silence that guy. And yes, okay. So when they are silenced, they do not split. That is good to know. Yeah, again, the problem, at least in part, is that Snow Sant isn't able to... Uh, with the current way she's set up, Snow Sant can't, like, too actively... Yeah, can't too actively... Uh, or too frequently, I should say, actually use her silence. Yeah, Myrtle and Snow Sant should be okay to take these fellows out. Me? Me? And would you please be so kind? Me? Okay, so no, she can't use that, right, because it's not within her ability range. 
Um, okay, we're not... I guess we could have used, uh... We could have used Tilopsis's skill, but we probably... Probably wanted to wait, or probably wanted to per deploy Perfumer at some point anyway. Not enjoying these uh, Sarcasm Mercenaries too much right now. If we... Hmm. We don't have a great position. Yeah, because that... We could deploy down here, but our medics aren't able to cover there. She won't take damage from the Sandstorm, but she will take damage from any additional ranged enemies that come that way. Um, I was thinking about using Myrtle's skill, but no. We don't need that, and we really don't need Myrtle here anymore either. What I could do to make this at least somewhat faster would be something like so. And then if I were to redeploy, swap Myrtle out for, say, Blitz. Blitz is maybe not the best choice, but he's the only other ground unit we have currently. Um, but yeah, Blitz, like so. And we can have, you know, damage up on the top without having to compromise on blocking. Of course, now we then still have the issue of this fellow, whom we can't uh, aim at without, uh, well, I don't know. I guess don't let them get the drop having Frost here is good. It's not great, but it's something, at least. Okay. Because, yeah, my problem was that she wouldn't have... Ooh, oh dear. Yeah, she wouldn't have a whole lot of uh, ability to... Okay, so the Origin Mutants are going to take a little while. Oh dear. Oh dear. Invisible only performs ranged attacks against friendly units caught in the sandstorm. Okay. So. They're quite strong. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, they just... Okay. I'll do my best. So, I think we've lost here. Because, yeah, there's absolutely nothing we can do. Oh, oh, they can shoot our explosives? Interesting. So yeah, so we've definitely lost at this point, but... Welcome to set. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So this is definitely a challenge. Uh, I'll go salvage some damage parts to at least reduce our losses. Hmm. So yeah, I think that should be relatively simple to work around. Um, but yeah, they they have some incredible offense on them. Wow. Um, hmm. So yeah, not anything I can really do about them, it seems like, other than just kill them uh, and not get shot. Probably their melee attacks are weaker. I hope they're weaker. Because if not... Oof. Um, so yes, so Myrtle is still fine being in a exposed position because we don't need her to be around for very long. Tip. But yes, other than that, we definitely want our melee units outside the range of the red marks. And given circumstances, that probably means that we're going to want to be able to place more ranged units in general. So. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I don't think I want Snow Sand to be our last line of defense, one way or the other. So. We'll start off with Blitz. Can I switch off with Healing Wings? Yes, I did. Okay, that's good. Chanka. Ah, oh, this is actually perfect, because, yeah, this will mean that uh, Myrtle isn't being uh, forced to handle the burden of this on her own. Once again, I think Philopsis is a good starter option. Better than most, at the very least. This is definitely a situation where it's worth considering, I think, 
starting out with a different um, unit. Where would I want to... Um, there's not really a great place to put snow sand in this area, I don't think. But there are some places that are worse than others, I think. Do you think I have time to do like There you go, that's a stun. Okay. So yeah, okay. The stunned enemies did have the silence uh visual effect on them. I won't be afraid. Hmm, actually. Now I'm hmm. Okay, we have made a slight oh, error here. Serious now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Snow Sand is doing okay, but I do think she'd be better off with her other skill. We, no, we don't have Myrtle's other skill, or we don't have Myrtle's skill period ready yet. Um, okay. So, whether or not we see any more Sarkaz crossbowmen is going to mean a lot for us here. I suppose we do have Philopsis's uh, and Kefalin in our back pocket if we desperately need to keep, uh, if we desperately need to keep Ash alive. Oh, almost a hit around me, guys. But yeah, since we've got Origini Utens, we definitely want Arch Damage. Since we don't have... Hmm, okay. Let's get to work. It might be better to switch to Chanka out for Savage, actually, now that I think about it. Out and about. Carefully. Yes, the Origin Mutants are definitely an issue. I don't know that they're, like, a huge issue, though. Okay, so yeah, so they are going to just shoot the explosive if I just place it carelessly. Hmm. And that would be bad. Yeah, Savage being able to take out multiple enemies at once is good. That's not so good, but it's fine. I suppose pairing Snow Sand with someone who can already silence and all that wasn't necessarily the best option. Yeah, someone who can already silence and slow and all that. Here we go. You think you've got all the trimmings, don't you? Hmm. We're doing okay. Things are proceeding at a decent pace without too many issues. I'm all stocked up. Target spotted. All right, we didn't. I was really hoping to stun the red mark, but I suppose yeah, they are outside of the. Uh, they are outside of the. Well, yeah, they're invisible. So yeah, nothing. Nothing I could have done would have done anything for them. Like yeah, they also don't get stunned with uh, Blitz's ability, unfortunately. Uh. Really Alright. So yeah, knowing that we do have Pachanka for Arch Damage, he does a pretty decent amount, actually. Alright, so yeah. We didn't need the extra healing for Ash, as I was kind of worried. So yeah, we seem to be doing pretty alright. Okay. So yeah, Ash can't contribute from where she is, which is a little bit unfortunate. Ready to so go. we will just swap her out for someone else who can. This one's mine. So yes. So hopefully this explosive will... I guess it's not that necessary because we definitely... We're definitely not going to die to the Origin of Eden. We also Don't can't... Uh, can't grab the Origin of Eden, it seems like. But we can't explode them, so. That's it. <clears throat> Find anything? Got something. It's not much, but it's something. Good work. These provisions, along with the emergency store in the safe house, should keep us fed for a week if we stretch it. It's getting late. Let's head back. Someone's coming. How many? 
A dozen, maybe. Could be mercenaries. Hurry, back to the safe house. Are they still on us? Yes. That's not good. I knew they wouldn't let up. We're bound to get sieged if we choose to fight here. Keep retreating. Little do you know that being sieged is half the game. I guess it's the entire game in Arknights, really. What happened? Oh dear. We've got company. Get ready to fight. Something's not right. Hold your fire. Why? It's not those mercenaries. They're Reprova soldiers. Local guards? Hold fire. Guards, surround the structure. Don't let anyone escape. Wait a second. Are we surrounded? This isn't good. Why are the Lord's men encircling us? Let's have you quiet down for now. I want all of you inside to listen up. I am the captain of the Longspring Village Guard, daughter of the Lord of Longspring, Pikale Tula. I want you all to lay down your weapons and come out nice and easy. Don't test my patience, you'll regret it. The imposing Reproba warrior strikes the halberd onto, into the ground with all her might and the earth starts to tremble instantly. Mercenaries. It's always mercenaries. You shameless, faithless, virtuous... <laughs> how, did, how much gold did my evil brother give you? You won't get away. I'll crush you. I'll stomp you into dust. I'll make you pay for everything you've done. Once I cut you down, you'll finally understand that no amount of blood money can buy you another life. Well... If she's willing to listen, hopefully we should be able to explain the fact that we have absolutely no idea what she's talking about. Oh. Oh, are you sure they're here to help? I think they'd rather hang us from the town gate. That's what I'm afraid of. It seems like she might not be willing to listen, but, you know, in theory. There's definitely a misunderstanding here. Lady Picale. I am a field operative with Rhodes Island, with codename Rangers. I am pretty sure Rhodes Island signed a cooperation agreement with your family. We're... Shut up. Rhodes Island, sanctimonious hypocrites. My father trusted you. He believed your promises. That's why he agreed to your safe house. And how did you repay him? You kidnapped our people. Robbed them of everything they had. I saw it. You're a bunch of treacherous villains. Well, we do have the, the townsfolk in there, so they should probably be able to explain something about that. If you think for a single second, you'll know that doesn't make any sense. If we wanted to pillage the town, why would we still be here? Don't try to talk your way out of this. And who are you? You're standing on my father's land with your guns and you dare to argue with me? You're so tough, where have you been all this time? You and the Lord's men let those thugs raid the quarantine zone, so we had to risk our lives to save the townsfolk in there. What were your precious guardsmen doing then? And you still think you can come here and talk a big game with us? Settle down. Doesn't seem like the type you can reason with. Lady Picale. I'm Dr. Miaro, from the Infected Quarter. We've met before. R right. I know you. Rhodes Island didn't rob the infected. I can testify to that. We are forced here by the riots. And it's not just me. Any of the infected here will tell you that. Lady Picale, I need you to trust me. I trust you, Doctor. Many people speak highly of you. Thank you, Lady Picale. But I don't trust them. The imposing daughter of the Lord points forward with her colossal halberd. It is a grave infraction to enter my father's territory, armed without permission. In light of your protecting my father's subjects, I will pardon you for that infraction. As for Rhodes Island, the contract you signed with my father is, as of today, null and void. Please reconsider. There is nothing to discuss. 
Long Spring does not need armed foreigners, not even Rhodes Islanders. I will gather up the infected and take them where they belong. We don't need you getting involved. But... Alright, don't speak. Do not defy the local lord. We are standing here at, at Sargon as Rhodes Island operators. Forty-one. Forty-two. Any others? That's all. No problem. We'll get you to safety. Miss Cohen, Mr. Alexander. Thank you for all that you've done. No need. We should be thanking you. Where are you going to go? Not sure yet. Let's not make it sound so sad. Maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll have to tell you about it next time. Hmm? <laughs> the story of the dog-headed man. <laughs> All right. Doctor, this is for you. It's an originium ingot, but I can't. Remun remuneration for Ackman's leg. That was just some basic first aid. It's not worth this much. Tell him that his leg's not worth that much. I think it's worth it. Take it. Thanks, Mr. Rangers. And thank you all. Goodbye. Something's off. I know. I thought caution was the right move, but we ended up with a big misunderstanding. Who would have thought that the captain of the guard would be so difficult? A muscle-headed moron. We have enough of those at BSW. So, what do we do? He seized pretty much everything from the safe house. At least we're all unharmed. That's what really matters. Come with us, Mr. Ackman. We'll sign you into the branch office, then contact the land ship and figure out what to do. That's really our only option. I'm not so sure. What do you mean? Abakale woman. Could she be the one behind all this? The Lord was so slow to act, even as the mercenaries were rounding up the infected. And now we've got a captain of the guard taking everyone away all nice and legally. This can't just be a coincidence. That does make sense. Hmm. Well, we definitely know that, um... What was his name? Drudge? I think it was Drudge. Yeah, he definitely seemed displeased about his sister. So I don't think that she is working with him. And she definitely seemed displeased about him, too. Um, it is interesting. It is interesting. Probably, I think, more likely is that we're going to need to rescue her from something that uh, her brother is going to be doing. I'm going to tail them and see. I'm going to... No, more hands are more easily seen. The rest of you stand by. What's the matter? I thought you won't agree with this plan. Avoiding conflicts with the local lord doesn't mean our hands are tied here. We need to play to the score. Sometimes you need a few tricks to get things working. I see. Get them all to shelter first. Then I want three with me. I think there's something happening in the mines. Understood. There's definitely something happening in the mines. Is there enough room left in the shelter? Not really. Half the town's population is already inside. Help them to move upstairs if necessary. They can have my father's room. Is this really necessary? I don't see anything wrong with it. My father would do th will do the same should he live. Should he have lived. I see. Don't let your guard down anyway. Wait. The lights go out as soon as we left? I don't remember. Out of the way. Ah. We're under attack. Protect the civilians. Where did they come from? 
What are you waiting for? Get ready to break through. There's too many of them. Take the civilians and get out of here. I'm breaking off. Yes, it is as I had thought. Come on, you cowardly bandits. At least more or less as I had thought. <sighs> How many was that? Finally. <laughs> Lady Picale! Doctor, what are you doing here? Don't go. The Lord's Manor has already been... Doctor! Drudge. Get out of here. I'm going to chop your head off. <laughs> You're loud as you ever were, dear sister. You... You disgusting... I have to kill you. Show me what you've got. As the imposing reproba charges at her brother with shocking speed, she realizes it. He's fallen right into a trap. Under the cover of night, behind the crumbling houses, the machine rumbles. In one second, she feels herself struck dizzy by a ferocious blow, as if slammed right in the face by a boulder launched from a catapult. In the next second, she falls unconscious. Perfect victory? Whatever. A victory is a victory, after all. Aze is not so impressed with us. But, yes, it seems that the uh, all is uh, not quite... Not quite what we would like it to be. Tough battle. Enemy are launching a frontal assault and the terrain is disadvantageous for us. We'll have to use our tactics flexibly. So, we've got a lot of... Yeah, we've got a lot of dirt mounds. So that's going to be interesting. It looks as though... This one up here is maybe going to be... Whoops. Yeah, this one up here is maybe going to be used to sort of uh, hold off enemies, potentially preventing them from routing around the uh, outside here and coming from this area up here as well. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like since there are so many... Since there are so many... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Range tiles that are currently covered in dirt mounds... It looks like, yeah, managing those will be somewhat important. There's also a pit there, it looks like, so we might be able to pull some units into that. Though whether we'll be able to do so safely is another question. Yes, probably it would be more practical to push units into it, but we'll see what we can do. Anyway, no obvious changes to make immediately. How long has it been, dear sister? Six months? A year? Longer? Grudge, you attacked the Lord's men and stormed his manor. This is treason. Treason? <laughs> you have to know, Picale. If it weren't for that rotting old man's obsession with protecting his infected, oh, distressed assets. This wouldn't even be your place. Relax, girl. Check out those toys from an enthusiastic Colombian donor. The cunning Reproba slaps the device behind him. The TSW-2 Ultrasonic Impact Unit, a product of advanced technology. It's experimental, never used in the field before. The only downside is the size. It was a real tough to hide in town. Took a while. Took me a while to get you out of the mansion, too. So... Tell me, my dearest little sister, what good are your sick moves now? What good is that iron will of yours? And check out my friends here. Sarcas friends. They're not your run-of-the-mill brain-dead devils. They're from Columbia, too. They get the job done. You know what that means? It means they're here for progress. Progress you and the old man could never understand. Don't get your margins high enough, and money's more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Or get your margins high enough, and money's more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Whatever happened to the old man's worthless logic? Boss, we found this in a big house. Give it to me. Oh, an appointment letter from the Lord Amir of Bayalir. 
fine-grained papyrus embossed texture, blocky bayalier writing, and this black seal. Hmm. Where's the old man? He wasn't there. We searched every room and found plenty of townsfolk, but not the old man you're talking about. Father is dead. I am the Lord of Long Spring now. You have disobeyed your lord, and in doing so, disobeyed the Lord Amir. And for that, your punishment is death. That's the plan you and the old man came up with. <laughs> this is getting stupid. You really think you can use the Lord Amir to outmaneuver me? Don't make me laugh. You're going to execute me? The old man's the proud reprobate guards are lying headless in an alley somewhere right now. Those tough guards are gone now, and who's left to stop me? You're a psychotic piece of trash. You grew up with them. They treated you like their own son. I didn't think you were this far gone. They shouldn't have gotten in my way. And neither should you. We're blood, so let me make it a little clearer for you, sis. I want to be sure you understand. Yes, you're Lord of Sargon now, sure. But me? I'm a bum, abandoned by my family. And in a few years, when you meet an unfortunate end, I'll go to the court of Baelir. With my pedigree, plus the resources and wealth to prove my loyalty to the Lord Amir, don't you think he might just hand Long Spring back to me? No. Why don't I give you another scenario? Let's say you die in battle just a short while after taking charge. Then I hand your corpse over to the Lord Amir, and I get to join the Zayadeen. Would that work better for me? Rudge, you're a disgusting, horrific disaster of a person. You're getting excited, sis. Oh, that's just hypothetical. It's not real. We're having a brother-sister talk here. Because I know a much better place for you. See these things with the rocks on them? If you're so eager to protect the infected, why not join them? Rudge. Once you die from it, I'll find a nice cave to bury you in. Then, you and the old man can watch me dig out the Originium buried under the mines and turn Long Spring into the mineral heart of Baelir. So, what do you think? You sold out your family and sold out our land. I curse you, Drudge. May you die a horrible death. Whatever makes you happy, sis. Curse away. Use that voice while you've still got it. I guess we're done here. You, come here. Now, I didn't realize that they spoke a different language in Columbia versus Victoria. Uh, what is it, boss? I guess that explains why they've been referring to the English-speaking members of uh, Team Rainbow as having Victorian accents. But yes, anyway, bring the infected to the egghead. <laughs> right, I'm on it. Uh, what about this kid? Looks like he's on his way out. Bring him, dead or alive. As for my sister, turn her infected. You sarcasm must know how to do it. Roger. But that isn't in our contract. There'll be an extra fee. Save it. You know there'll be plenty of money to go around once our work here is done and the mine is up and running. What a nice brother you have there. Um... We're under attack. Get a shield up. Protect the boss. Very cool. What? Yeah, very cool indeed. Oh. What's happening? Boss, we've got company. I thought you took care of all the guardsmen. I saw, I saw. It's... Well, you won't have much of a chance to talk about what you saw for long. Ugh. Caster, get the monsters moving. Wait, I see. It's... Hurry! Yeah, standing around and, you know, looking at, at the person who's shooting at you probably isn't the, the best plan of action, necessarily. Ah, uh, my shoulder! My shoulder! Don't panic. Where's the enemy? I, I don't see them. 
Fall back. They've got crossbows. Get to cover. Cover Drudge. We can't let anything happen to him. I saw. It's a feline. Look out. Retreat. Retreat. You. You're with Rhodes Island. Can you move, Reproba? Thanks. Uh, okay, it's working. This isn't over yet. <laughs> hmm. The old man's toys can only be useful at a time like this. You, take the monsters and finish them off. Roger. There's too many. I can't guarantee your safe escape. This will do. Where are my weapons? What for? It's my fault Drudge turned out like this. I can't face my late father. But I will carve out that traitor's heart and bury it in Long Spring if it's the last thing I do. Don't be hasty. There's too many of them. Getting yourself killed won't help the town survive. I've sent out the signal. They should be here in a minute. Boss, those mercenaries in Rhodes Island are assaulting us. What are you afraid of? With this mansion tough as iron, I don't believe those mercenaries can cause us any harm. Tell those casters to finish that feline with monsters. Others, go defend the entrance. Roger. Little do they know that besieging is the other half of the game. Report. They have formed a defensive line with the, with the courtyard walls. I suppose there are snipers and hulky mercenaries hiding behind. The same way as usual. A wall like this doesn't even bother me. Let's show them who's the real boss here. Now that's a big hole in the wall. I didn't expect a technology like this. Cover fire. Breaching. Roger. Stop them. Now. Out of my way. Not over yet. Where are, where are the snipers? Snipers? There's no more snipers, I'm afraid. Where did you... <sighs> we breached the outwall. Nicely done, old man. Don't let your guard down. There's still many of them. Wait, what's that thing they just pushed out? That's... Get down. The ruthless experimental weapon produced a powerful shockwave with a loud bang resounding throughout the sky. The debris of broken buildings splashed everywhere. <laughs> Bless my ears. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about the others? All fine, but now I feel everywhere hurts. What is this weapon? How come they even have stuff like this? Experimental weapon of Volvort Kaczynski. How unexpected. Now we're in trouble. It's about to fire again. Find cover. If it hits you, you'll be doomed for sure. Boss, they breached the out wall. Don't you see they're being suppressed? What are you worried about? Take care of my sister and that feline first, then we'll deal with the rest. <sighs> I'm having the edge. Now it's just a matter of killing a few more. Five. These are your monsters, huh? Drudge, get out and face me. Six. Come on, you ugly and filthy monsters. I'm going to smash you all into shreds. Calm down, Lady Picale. Save your strength. There's too many of them. No. <laughs> Lady Picale, Miss Schwartz. Doctor. You... <laughs> have to get out of here. Come, monster. What are you doing? Exercising his limited ability with arts, I imagine. When you're infected, every sunrise comes with the specter of death. Yara resem remembers those words by heart. Hurts so bad. My whole body aches. Where am 
am I? Did I pass out? What is this? You sold out our fam your family and sold out our land. I curse you, Dredge. Drudge. May you die a horrible death. Lady Bikale, she's on the ground? What happened? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> my whole body aches. Is my oropathy flaring up? That's blood? Oh. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, so cold. Bring the infected to the egghead. Right, I'm on it. What about this kid? Looks like he's on his way out. Bring him, dead or alive. As for my sister, turn her infected. You sarcasm must know how to do it. He... What is he doing to the infected? He can't stand up. Who is that? In the shadow of the mansion's courtyard wall, a long crossbow takes aim. It's Miss Schwartz. Alone. I have to help her. Ah, hello, Alt. Good to see you, as always. Yeah, I hope you're doing well today. It all comes down to this in the end. You, run. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Get out of here! Is that a refined originium ingot? Why do you... I haven't used arts in so long. Arts that make originium products explode? That's rare. With arts like these, aren't you a better fit for being a soldier? Why do you want to be a doctor? <sighs> okay, whatever. I just think it's kind of a waste, though. There's so much I still want to do. I don't want to die yet. Doctors should be saving lives. I have to save. The young infected charges out. Hmm. I was thinking he'd use his arts to take control of it. Take control of the monsters, maybe. At least to some extent, but uh, it would seem not. My eyes! My eyes! Ah! Get up! Hold the line! <coughs> what happened? What was that? The origin mutants. They're out of control. How? Where's the ultrasonic emitter? The little twerp fried it. We've completely lost control. What do we do? Ah. He lines back. Get a shield up. Protect the boss. Rudge. Your life is forfeit. Again with the nagging. I want their heads on a platter now. What is it this time? Target located. At my position. We're getting them out of there. Open fire. Battle of the Lord's Manor. All right, here we go. Ew. So we can protect. We can protect the. Freedom. Yes, we can protect the. I'm here to help. What's the word I'm looking for? But yes, the dirt mounds. We can protect them. Though we are going to have to be very careful, given the existence of the. Yeah, the red marks. Because we absolutely cannot, under any circumstance, permit uh, our units to get shot by them. They will obliterate us. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but, you know. Ooh, I have to get serious now. We'll figure out a way to work around it. So, I'm thinking, we want to protect these dirt mounds. We want to reinforce them. Actually, oh, oh. Hmm, okay, let's... Okay. Let's rethink Too bad this. We didn't win. 
but I won't let because it I'm scare. realizing now that the sandstorm is blowing from above this time. Yeah, before it's always been, at least I think it's only ever been blowing from the side, but this time it definitely appears to be coming from above. So, okay. So, that makes things interesting. Hmm. How can we work this? So clearly, a good thing to do would be to make the enemies take as circuitous of a route as possible. Beyond that, though, since we can't demolish the dirt mounds by hand... Okay. One way or the other, I think we need to defend this top row pretty heavily in order to ensure that our units do not get simply obliterated. But yes, we've got a good amount of time before the enemy catches up to us. So we shouldn't have too much issue here. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is exactly what we want, but I'm kind of afraid of the red marks. So I don't want to be careless, certainly. So yes, so let's is probably a fine choice. And since we can, I think Savage is also a good choice. I don't know if we need this tile behind them taken care of, but I'd rather it be reinforced than not. Um, what else do we want to defend? Hmm. Because yeah, I was kind of thinking we could use rope or someone to pull Origin Mutants into the pit. But, if we... Yeah, the red marks are going to be a bit of an issue for that. Or, well, yeah, we wouldn't be able to pull them into the pit with uh, rope, I don't think. Hold on. Oh, dear. Um, hmm. I didn't see you before. I don't know what you do. Um, or I didn't see your uh, bio, so I don't know what you do. Okay. Well, it is what it is. He's got an interesting sort of stride there. Hmm. Hopefully that's not a ranged unit, because uh, I don't have a great place to put my uh, medics, currently. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that is a ranged unit, so we are going to have to deal with our medics getting shot a little bit, but that's not the worst thing in the world. It's certainly not the best thing in the world, but it's manageable. Alright, not great on that, but at least we're clearing out enemies fairly quickly. Oh! Oh, they can leave a decoy. Interesting. Yes, I do love their, their sprightly little gate there. I was, going to, I was wondering there for a second if they maybe can't be blocked, but uh, it seems that they just... Uh, okay, red mark infiltrator. Interesting. Did they not pop up with a bio before? Because usually they don't pop up with one twice. So yes, a pawn, when receiving damage for the first time, generates a holographic mirage. When the mirage exists, cannot be blocked and becomes less likely to be attacked. It means physical and arch dodge while in the sandstorm. Okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. So yeah, we want to switch out Myrtle as soon as we get the chance. We'd want uh, Haze around here so that she can contribute. Um, I feel like we want to. I th feel like we want to replace Myrtle with Tachanka. And I feel like the strut here is probably to face her downwards, or him downwards rather, because I think that would be a good way to get them to use up their decoy faster, so that they're less likely to. Uh, yeah, so that they're less likely to be a problem for us, basically. Um, but yeah, so it looks like them being in a position where they can't uh, actually 
yeah, where they can't use their... What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, them being in a position where they can't use their decoy, or, yeah, where they use their decoy early is definitely good for us. And I guess, yeah, we do have Ash, yeah, in a position to be able to attack them earlier, so we didn't need the Tachanka facing that way. So it's maybe not the best way for him to be, but it's not the worst either. Oh dear, what have I, what just happened? Oh, the sandstorm changed. Uh oh, uh, okay, we've lost. Okay. Interesting. So that's the first time we've seen that too. I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough to be your help. It's perfectly fine, Sora. Okay, so at a certain point, the sandstorm is going to change directions, at which point we won't be able to defend in the way that we were. Let's go. So, Let's see what kind of battle will it end up being? I wonder. This is all very interesting. So, I want to get these taken care of sooner rather than later. So I guess, mm, I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. We probably don't need to be this cautious. Mm -hmm. We're counting on you again today, little apple. Yes, Colopsis would probably be good. I think placing her down here is the better choice. Because I don't plan to place any units in sort of the area beneath that row of range tiles where we had our medic before. Um, I don't want to place... Uh, Ash immediately. But we do want to place Blitz sooner rather than later. Probably placing Ash more forward would be more advisable because she is able to, uh, yeah, she would be able to deal damage. Or rather, she, yeah, she has higher DPS than uh, Frost. Yes, with cross traps, we should be able to get the uh, infiltrators dealt with pretty quickly, or at least get them to use their skill quickly. Um, that, yeah, that's going to be an issue soon if I don't reinforce it. Ah, and when the yeah when the sandstorm changes, we're going to need this tile reinforced as well. So yes, let's deploy Savage as well before I forget. Okay, okay. Move. Yes, I think the infiltrator has already been trapped before, so we don't need to worry about him. Setting up. Ah, hmm, okay, we did. This does change things a little bit. Not that much, but it does definitely change the situation. Oh, oh, oh dear, I've made a tactical error, actually. Um, hmm, okay. So while their decoy is up, they can't be blocked. But the decoy doesn't, like, the decoy doesn't, like, die. The decoy just lasts forever, basically. Hmm. So now we've got a little bit of a problem because the enemies have to take a very, or they don't have to take a very circuitous route is the issue. Um, interesting, interesting. Okay. So this is actually really bad for us. Hmm. Okay. Well, one way or the other, uh, Gray, we need uh, AoE damage and you are the man for the job. All right, all right, all right. Chanka, switching out to the Chanka is probably better soon rather than later. I'm not too concerned about the fact that, um, yeah, I'm not too concerned about the fact that, why is this? Oh, it's damaged because the, the sandstorm had, uh, 
before the sandstorm changed, it was uh, in such a position as to be able to be eroded a little bit. I wonder if any of these tiles were just like strictly unnecessary. I suppose we probably could have done without uh, defending this lower lane. We'd have to have rethought where we positioned uh, Gray, but we definitely could have done it, I think. All right, let's start go. taking out these enemies quickly. And Keflin is going to be maybe not necessary immediately. Initiation complete. I don't know why I did that, considering I just said that it wasn't necessary, but you know. Hmm. Okay, well, I missed my opportunity there a little bit. Yeah, the... The decoy being where it is is a little bit of an issue, but we're not going to face any more of them, it looks like, because the mission is just about over. So, not a clean win, but it is a win. And it's definitely a win that I could have made clean, I think, but... Yeah, the red marks were a bit of an issue for us. And yeah, once the once they're out of once they're in melee range, they're basically just nothing. Yeah, if they'd placed Bray like facing upwards, that probably would have fixed a lot of our problems there. Yeah, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. See ya. Okay. You're on guard duty. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes, also, hello, TVPG. Good to see you as well. You're doing well, I trust. Alexander, see if any of the Merc Burks on the ground are alive. On it. Tina, get your bandages. Take a head count and patch up the wounded. Roger. No playing dead. Wait, please, lower your gun. I'll tell you anything. Colts, tie him up. Sure. Where's the doctor? Dr. Miaro. Over here. <laughs> the infected boy lays on the ground, blood oozing out of his many wounds with each cough. His exposed skin is covered with fine orogenium crystals, a direct result of facing down the orogenium explosive at such a close range. No shock waves, no intense gusts of crushing wind, but the Originium curse has grown stronger from the stimulation and penetrated deeper into his body. Kina, bandages, hurry! Stay with me. Don't close your eyes, boy. Why? What happened? When you push yourself to use Originium arts, it worsens your Originium infection. Rhodes Island doesn't have a countermeasure? Isn't this what you people do? Between the blood loss, spurns, and acute oropathy symptoms, even if we were back on the land ship. <laughs> I said stay with me, kid. You can do this. Remember how you wanted to travel the world? Picture that Columbia you are dreaming of. Stay with me. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, Miaro. And it will not be in vain. Doctor. He's gone. I'm sorry, I couldn't. No, it's not your fault. No, I had nothing to do with that. It wasn't me. Russian profanity. I'm going to twist your head off. I just don't... You're done for. Russian profanity. You're toasted. No, don't hurt me. It wasn't me. No. Alexander, stop. Calm down. Where did that guard captain go? The Lord's daughter. She chased someone trying to get away. Rangers went with her, don't worry. Wait, the crystals on the doctor's skin are glowing? 
Uh huh. So soon? How? We've got bigger problems. Find an empty room here. What are you doing? No time to explain. Move. We need cloth, curtains, bread, bedspreads, anything. Get the doctor into that little house. Hurry. What's happening? What's wrong with the doctor? Why? M Miss Cohen, please calm down. Frank is dealing with the doctor's... Dealing? Dealing with what? You've never seen it before? I'll explain it to you later. Cover the doors and all the windows. No cracks. The chimney. Block, the, block it. And the vents. What are they doing? I'm not sure. What's wrong with the doctor's corpse? Don't look. Why? Don't look. We're good here. Doors and windows good. Ready. Hey, is that room lighting up? The windows glowing? Miss Cohen, get back. Don't watch. What on earth is going on? The doctor... In the dark of the house, glittering dust crumbles from the departed's wounds and spreads throughout the enclosed space, before long rays of light pierce the darkness. Brilliant, dazzling, prismatic light. Originium dust floats in the air among the lights, then slowly settles. An infected returns to the earth that birthed him. We did a good job, team! Thank you for your hard work! Man, what a what a tonal shift there. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Man. So yeah, I do think we could definitely do better on that mission. I'm trying to think. Because yes, if we were probably we could position our units in such a way that we don't need this column protected. And if we do, we can, we can, yeah, protect that, 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 and that. And that would allow us to keep our, yeah, keep things going. We didn't need the one directly north of the objective point covered either. I think I had that one covered before. Oh, but we will actually, yeah, we'll need the two over these columns, these two, these three, and yeah, so six, and that's exactly how many we have. So I think probably I'll do this off screen just to get a better rating. I don't want to worry about it too much now, because we have a funeral to plan. He went home and left the world behind. Our hearts ache because fate is ever unjust. But we need not grieve, because he is now free of the suffering of existence. We sing for him as he has at last returned to the earth. His relatives, his loved ones, need not shed tears. Death is a mercy of our world, and we are the heirs to all things. May it all turn to dust. May it all return to the wild which we too one day will return. A roughly polished stone monument adorned with a few lines carved into its uneven surface stands in the shadow of a dead tree. Here lies our dear friend, Miaro. He was infected. He was a doctor. He was a good man. Are you okay? Hard to say. I heard the old lizard man say that only important people get funerals in this country. Most ordinary folks just die when they die, and their families bury them in the wastes. No tombstones, no mourning. The people who live on the huge platforms, the moving cities, have to cremate the dead and bury the ashes under those major roads. The space is so precious in the city. 
Cemeteries are rare in ordinary settlement, where a disaster can come through and wipe out any memory of where the dead are buried. There's basically no religion in Sargon. Most people here don't believe in an afterlife. They think the dead return to the earth and become part of it. Looking at it like that, it's a pretty honest and practical culture. I like it. So, Miaro's grave will be lost someday? Probably. But we held a funeral for him, and that was so important. I can't really accept that. Why? After seeing what I saw, it's hard to accept how he went. We probably bear some responsibility, Alexander. If it weren't for Miaro, we would have had a much rougher time here. I've been thinking, what if we'd moved a little faster, if we were tougher, if we really decided to do something for those sick people? If we... I don't think it's a good idea to get caught up in thoughts like that. Miaro made his own choices. This isn't your fault. The big girl was trying to fulfill her duty. As an aristocrat growing up in this culture and this system, her willingness to shelter the sick was definitely a noble act. Judging by how the Rhodes Islanders talked, Miaro was very, very sick. For him, death was something that hung over him every day. It's a miracle he lasted as long as he did in his condition. That's how they lived, and there's not much we can do about it. But did we really do the right thing? We were so sure if we reached out to help him, he would actually, we would actually be helping them. And I have no idea why. We live with these sick people. But we didn't know anything about the infected. We thought of that oropathy like a slightly infectious cancer. The deadly, incurable disease we already knew. But this isn't a disease, really. A disaster. We don't know anything about it. And we tr still try to save them. You can't blame yourself for it or for nothing, Cohen. It's pointless. I understand what you're feeling, but you can't deny what we did. Remember when I was up on that roof with nothing to do? I had all, but I had all that time on my hands. I sat there, watching Miaro's clinic, watching the people who lived there. As a visitor from another world, I witnessed this one. I'm not a sharp person, but even I could see the many terrible, cruel things. One night, one of the townsfolk was getting a package from another's house under the cover of darkness. It was a burlap wrapped parcel, about as tall as a man. I watched them load the package onto a handcart and make their way along the edge of town to the rocky desert, disappearing behind the boulders on the south side. I saw it happen just like that several times, maybe twice in the past three weeks. And it must have been happening in other places too, but I couldn't see it. You never mentioned this before. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't have a reason to. You're right. We're outsiders. We're not from this country. We're not even from this world. We can't understand the people here. Their history, their culture, their lives, their feelings. We couldn't hope to know. And I have no right to point my finger at something I don't understand. There's a reason they do what they do. That's how it should be. But then, one night, my curiosity got the better of me. I followed the path to the boulder where they buried the sack. I saw the light shimmering beneath the sand. I saw the dust rising up from the rocks and disappearing into the air. That dust is so bright in the dark of the night. I knew, of course, what was in the sack. I could probably guess what the dust was. And naturally, we all know exactly what it is now. There was an old woman who sat by the door of the house where the sack came from. After that night, I never saw her again. I spent every day with the townsfolk. He must have known about it too. <sighs> what was the excuse she made up before? This one looks like they've had chemical warfare training. You know, to cover their noses and mouths. What a lame explanation. Because I'd seen the reason. You just asked me if we really did the right thing. The answer is simple. We helped them, because that's what our morals, our conscience, told us to do. Aging, illness, and death are inevitable, in this world and ours. Even if there wasn't this oropathy, the people wouldn't suffer any less. 
Even without the disease, they'd have war, taxation, and natural disasters crushing the poor. Be their lord in this town? What kind of a society do they live in? Such feudalism would be far behind the times in the history of the earth we know, but it's the reality for them. By our standards, they're not living in a civilized world. I've seen enough over the years, Cohen. You know what I mean. This world sucks. But there's still something we can do about it. Don't turn your back on our good work. Morality and conscience aren't wrong. <sighs> You're right, Alexander. Forget I said anything, I'm just too tired. It's been too long since you got a good night's sleep. We're all tired. Someone's coming. Sorry. I don't know what to say. This is all on me. Because I was stupid and impulsive. The tall reproba holds a golden seal, grips it tightly, using it with her own conviction. The seal melts and falls from her hands, spilling onto the roughly polished stone tablet. Morginium arts. That was a medal of honor given to my father by the Lord Amir. He was one of the Amir's strongest warriors, and the town of Long Spring was a reward for his service. My father was strong, kind, just. He always was, ever since I was small. The Tula family was built on the blood and bones of miners. For years, my father grew wealthy, digging Morginium out of the ground. But with it came the spread of Oropathy. It was just the miners at first, but it eventually spread through the town. When the originium closer to the surface was all mined out, my father closed the quarry. He wouldn't, he wouldn't let anyone dig any deeper. He created the infected quarter and sent men to protect the people living there. He couldn't just sit on the pile of infected corpses and count as gold. He always hoped my brother Drudge and I could do better. I don't know what happened to Drudge while he was studying in Columbia. I just saw him turn more and more evil. It wasn't until my father kicked him out of the house that I realized the man was no longer my brother. But, I disappointed father too. I'm not a worthy successor to his achievements or his legacy. I'm unworthy. I did nothing. I couldn't protect Long Spring. I couldn't protect my father's people. I couldn't even kill Drudge. I let him get away. Drudge's supporters. What kind of people are they? I don't know them well. All I know is that they are from a Colombian organization called Volvorp Kolchinsky. It wasn't the first time I dealt with those Colombians. They're wicked and greedy. All they care about is how to dig more rocks out from under the town. They don't give a thought to the people living in it. Sounds familiar. Hmm. My father used to say that if I just became a warrior, I could protect my home with strength alone. A warrior can defeat another warrior, but violence isn't a solution to true evil. I never understood what he was referring to with true evil. I always thought that Drudge had turned evil. I think what she said, or maybe what they meant to say, was that... Maybe that she couldn't protect her home with strength alone. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to get too hung up on it. I always thought Drudge had turned evil. But now I know Drudge was just a tiny little sliver of evil, and it was still enough to beat me. There are times when a fight to the death can't solve the problem. What are you going to do next? I don't know. Drudge ran off and his mercenaries fell apart. But he left behind those monsters. Long Spring isn't really habitable anymore. For the time being, at least, I have to protect my home. That's where the town's survivors are. How many people can your home house? There's a shelter in the basement of the manor. It can hold a lot of people, but we don't have enough food and water. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to you about these things. I actually came to thank you for protecting the people of Long Spring through all this. No thanks necessary. I... I have something I must do. Excuse me. He's a good person. It's hard to believe that evil is our brother. Hmm. 
Here you are, Miss Cohen. Did I come at a bad time? Oh, no, we were just about to leave. The infected gave this to me. It's Dr. Miaro's estate in the box. After talking it over with the infected, they decided it would be best to give them to you. Open it. Is that proper? Of course, he was our friend. What's inside? A map and a book. It's a Sargonian version of the Traveler's Guide to Urban Columbia. As for the map, it looks kind of old. Let me, let's see here. Oh, this area should be Takaranto. It's a Columbia border city. I've been there before. And is this stack here money? Colombian gold certificates? Dr. Miara actually had some savings. I remember he said he would leave here someday and go to a place called Columbia. To become a real doctor. Short as his time was, he still had a plan for his life. Hold on, there's a note here. Let me see. Hmm. What does it say? Should I read it? Go ahead. If you're reading this note, thank you for helping me deal with this stuff. Give the money to someone. I definitely don't need it anymore. Don't lose the box. It was my mother's. Though I don't know who you are, my friend. I still hope your life turns out okay. Miaro. I don't know how to express myself here. What can I say or do in the face of his legacy? Dr. Miara was a strong man. Dreams are a luxury for the infected. They're like precious, fragile gemstones. Even in Colombia, the infected are zoned to certain areas of the city. Most people live their whole lives struggling to get out of them. The vast majority of the time, contracting oropathy is a death sentence, if a deferred one. Reality forces you to give up on your dreams, your lifestyle, and ultimately life itself. It's hard for anyone to be hopeful about life in the face of cruel reality. What on earth was supporting him? Someone like Miyato should not have lived like this. He shouldn't have died like this. Wait, where are you going? To find the big girl. Why? I want to talk to her. I have a plan. All right. The story draws near to its end. But our time here also draws near to its end, I think. But yes. I... We definitely could keep going. We definitely could play another mission. But I don't know that I want to do that tonight. And I'm, I'm realizing that when I'm in sad mode here, I really don't get a lot of uh, mouth movement out, do I? Hmm. Well... Anyway, I suppose we will return to a more standard mood. But yes, so I think we're going to wrap up for tonight. But yes, we have two more missions left. So one way or the other, we should, unless Operation 7 is a real, real challenge, we should be able to at least start Operation uh, OD8 tomorrow the boss stage and I imagine we'll probably be on that for one or two days if the pattern holds but one way or the other on that that should leave us in a good position with plenty of days left before the event ends and if not then man that's a long very difficult mission <laughs> but yes so like I was saying I believe it is time to wrap up for the day. So yes, thank you for joining me for this latest part of the adventure. As always, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a raid target on my own. And in the meantime, we will go over the business after I've had a little sip here.
pretty big sip of that, actually. But yes. So, the night has been Arc Nights. Tomorrow will be Arc Nights. And then Thursday will also be Arc Nights. Friday, I imagine... Well, I don't know. I don't know how long OD8 will take us. But yeah. Again? Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> but yes. So again, I have gone longer than this on certain nights. OD8 is fairly hard. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect it to clear... I didn't expect to clear it on the first day that we started it. Considering that we've not finished any boss stage on the day that we've started them so far. But yeah. I expected it to take one or two days of attempts. And probably by the point that we get to OD8, or at least our second day of OD8, I'll have gotten a little bit more caught up on my sleep. And so I'll be more able to go later if necessary. But yes, I'm definitely feeling better today than I was yesterday. But yeah, again, so some of the issues with my arm have been ameliorated somewhat. So it's not too bad. So most of my sources of fatigue from day-to-day -day business are not as uh, not as notable, if at all noticeable. And again, I've made more time to get some rest today, and I intend to get some more rest tomorrow where I can. It is a day that I work, so I won't have that much time, but you know, I'll do what I can. And again, I expect to, or yeah, I'm going to make an effort to make sure I get good sleep so that I don't have to worry about that too much either. But yeah, I definitely have the energy to go further today, but I don't want to push it because I'm just now sort of feeling better from being rather tired these past few days. So, I want to get on more steady ground before I start to push myself. But yes, we've already been pushing ourselves quite a bit to stream as often as we can, or as we have, so don't want to get too, uh, too reckless, just because we are within striking distance of the end. But yes, again, we have plenty of days, and we should be able to go later on the upcoming days. So, anyway, not seeing any raid suggestions, so I think tonight we're going to go and visit, uh, let me just refresh my Twitch page so I can see who's on. to double check. Um, so yes, I believe tonight we are going to go and visit Chibi once again. Asa Chibi VT. I believe up till now I've said, I've said Asa instead of Asa. Said that quite a bit. Yeah, I've heard her speak her name before and I've heard her say it properly. So I don't know why it took me this long to internalize how it's supposed to be pronounced, but you know. You know how it is sometimes. Yes, it looks like... Oh no, actually. Uh, okay, so Asa is about to... Uh, is ending stream, so... Actually... I suppose tonight... Uh, I, I suppose we'll go and visit Marky Chin again. Who is still playing Kaizo Iron Mom. Which is a very, very hard Pokemon challenge. In uh, Pokemon Platinum. Yes, in an Iron Maw, Kaizo Iron Mon run, you get precisely one Pokemon, ever. Um, among a number of other restrictions. I'm not that familiar with the rule set, but I know it, <coughs> know it broadly. But yes, anyway. So, Marky Chin, once again. Alright, so yes. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Once again, the schedule for these next, er, yeah, have a good night, you as well. But yes, the schedule for until such time as we clear this event is more Arc Nights, up until Saturday, which is one way or the other the last day we're going to be playing this event. But yes, on the upcoming Wednesday and Saturday streams, we should be able to stream as early as 8.30 p.m. Central Time, possibly closer to 9 p.m. Central Time. Then on the Thursday streams, or Thursday and Friday streams, those would be closer to, yeah, 9.30, yeah, 9, eh, 9 to 9.30 p.m. Central Time for our start time. 
and we probably will be able to go a little bit later on those days as well. So yes, so once again, customary raid message, all that. So thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be with that. I, yeah. All right. Hope that you'll have a fine, yeah. Hope that you've had a fine night. Hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.